I'm Tracy Townsend along with Angela Ann. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming right now because of a crash and a fire on I-70. It's closed all of the lanes of the highway. This happened near the intersection of State Route 310. This is in West Licking County, south of Pataskala. Now you can see that heavy smoke coming from the crash site. Again, this is the westbound lanes. However, we do know that the freeway is closed on both sides of the freeway. This is video of the scene less than one hour ago. And again, that black smoke rising from the scene. We do have crews right now on scene giving us more information. We do want to map out exactly where this is taking place along I-70. You can see here, this is right there along the eastern Franklin County, Licking County line. We have reached out to the Highway Patrol and also surrounding law enforcement agencies. And of course, you can see and you can tell that this is a massive crash. A lot of first responders on the scene. And we've been watching this since right before 9 o'clock this morning. 10 TV's Gabriela Garcia was looking at this and brought it to you as breaking news. Gabby, what's the latest? Yeah, good morning, ladies. Uh, let me take a look over here at my map there at I-70 at State Route 310. Let's go to the chroma key. Thank you. So I-70 at 310, you can tell people are being guided off of the roadway in both directions, eastbound and westbound. This has been the case for quite some time. It looks like a few folks are able to get on I-70, but those are those westbound lanes. So we're going to keep track of this situation, but for now, this is a big deal. The road is closed at State Route 310, I-70 again in both directions there in Etna, but it's also affecting folks in Kirkersville because of this crash and ensuing vehicle fire. So I want you guys to remember to take US 40 instead, whether that's eastbound or westbound. This is a big deal. A lot of emergency vehicles there. You want to give them room to work because it'll take a while to clear out. I'll send things back to you ladies. All right, Gabriella, thank you. We do know that this crash involved a semi and what we're learning is a commercial bus mm -hmm. with uh, dozens of passengers on board. We do, and we want to get out to 10 TV's Amy Steigerwald. She's live west of that crash scene. Amy, what can you tell us? What can you see? Yeah, a lot happening here right now, Tracy and Angela. We're just west of 310, and we want to uh, give you a look at this scene. You can see as uh, we kind of zoom into what's going on that there are dozens of first responders here on scene right now. And you can also see that both those east and westbound lanes completely shut down. No traffic is getting by. Now, obviously, this is a very developing uh, situation. The black smoke that you were, were talking about, you guys, has died down. We're not seeing too much smoke uh, develop at this time, but definitely still a very big first responders presence. We spoke with the Licking County Sheriff's Office. They say there are multiple injuries associated with this crash. Obviously, still looking for an exact number on what to do, uh, exactly how many there were. We're going to continue to remain out here, hopefully get some more information. But uh, like Gabby mentioned, this is very uh, going to have impact your commute in both directions. You can see that there are cars getting by here on 310 OK in both directions. They're kind of avoiding this. But if you take a look, uh, once this semi passes, you're going to be able to see just how far uh, this is backed up. Traffic is being diverted off of uh, I-70 as we speak. Again, still a very uh, active situation. I'm going to send things back to you guys as we work to learn more. For now, I'm live. Amy Stagerwald for 10 TV News. All right, Amy, thank you. And of course, she said a very active situation. ODA just tweeted out uh, moments ago that the estimated duration of this closure mm -hmm. is unknown. And we can see clearly why. Yes, definitely a major response mm -hmm. there. We're going to stay on this breaking news for you. We'll have the latest for you on 10 TV News starting at noon. We'll break in as appropriate. In the meantime, you can keep up to date with what's happening. We'll have a crawl at the bottom of your screen. We now return you to regularly scheduled programming.